All right, in order to get this done, we only need six items, like a bucket, some sort of clamp, a hand brush, a towel, a hair dryer, and some dish soap. Once you've got all of this, you'll want to use some of the dish soap in the bucket and fill it with warm water. So then we're going to take the clamp, the towel, and the bucket and head on over to the car. So what I do is I take the seatbelt out as far as it goes, I'll take the actual buckle and slide it all the way to the top so it's out of the way and clamp both of those things together so then that way the seatbelt stays out and your clamp's not in the way. You're going to then take your towel, put it on the seat, and you're just going to let your bucket sit on top of that in hopefully a level position. If you haven't gotten your car seated properly, you might want to move the seat a little bit like I did to get it into position and then just soak that seatbelt in there. Just stick it all in the best you can. I mean, you could put it on the floor too if you wanted to, but this seems to be the best way to get it all in and it'll soak up most of that water further up into the belt. And you'll want to let that sit for about an hour. The same can be done for all the seats. So if you've got time and extra buckets, why not do all of them? Or you can do what I did since I only had the one bucket and really the only one seat to do, I just wash the car. Okay, so once you've had a chance to let your seatbelt soak for about an hour, uh, you're gonna take it out. You'll see here that even though, it might be hard on the video, but even though it wasn't all submerged, it did soak up most of the soap and water. So you're gonna wanna pull it out of the car so that it's not on the seat. That's why you have your towel though. And uh, really what I do, move our little bucket out of the car and then I take this I don't even know it's a Violita brush and I'll dip it into the water and then I'll scrub it and usually what I do actually I'll hold it in my hand and I'll scrub it like this and just kind of go through the whole belt all the way through up and down you don't really have to worry about the part that's closer uh, to the B pillar here for the most part you know unless you're bigger than me uh, the seatbelt shouldn't have ever really been extended that far. It's usually the stuff in the middle, uh, really starting from the base of the seat all the way up uh, and really past the little lock here for your belt. That'll be the dirtiest part. So really, I mean, this is not as bad as my driver one was and even it looks super good uh, just like this. So what you do is you'll just give it a scrub all the way through, make sure it's all good if you have any spots that are really troublesome. You know, like I said, you dip it into your warm water, scrub in specifically where you've got a problem and really just finish it up and get to the bottom of it. And then, uh, like I said, yeah, take a couple parts that are, that are worse off, give it a quick scrub. And for the most part, it should be all clean. And you know, this went from a relatively dirty beige to what I consider pretty damn clean. And you know, you'll have a little bit of threading that'll come off a little bit using this method. But like I said, on my driver's side one, I did it just over six months ago. Had no problems with it. The seat uh, looks like it's in good shape. Maybe it could use a, another cleaning again because it's been, you know, six months through the winter. But uh, overall, I mean, no issues with the belt. Hasn't come apart. Hasn't started to tear. And uh, I'd say I trust this. I'm going to do it with all my seat belts in the car, starting with uh, obviously this one, and we'll move to the back seats after. Yes, I am disgustingly wet. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm severely overweight. Once you're completely satisfied that everything's clean, and in my case I am, even uh, just giving it a light scrub did a pretty good job, you gotta let it dry. So there's two ways to do it. You can either keep this clamped overnight, let this sit, preferably on a towel, and let it air dry. You certainly don't want this to retract back into position because then all the water is gonna stay stuck together and you're gonna have a mold issue. So you're gonna wanna make sure that it's dry uh, before you put it back into its regular position. So I recommend just use a hair dryer. I'm sure you could use something uh, a little bit more industrial if you wanted to, but this does a good trick. You might be drying it for about 20 minutes to, to half an hour to make sure it's all dry, but overall it's pretty simple. Certainly doing this on a warm sunny day is good because then the sun will help to evaporate it all for you. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We've grown exponentially over the last couple of months and we're so happy to have you on board. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.